Hello everyone, Vanilla Vanilla here. I'm just gonna let you guys know my voice is probably a little funny. Uh, I just woke up. But today, we are playing Simhorn's Reality. I got some stuff to update you guys on, as well as we are going to do covers of all of our Quarter Horse mares, as well as possibly some of our Thoroughbred mares. So, I'm gonna quickly go to these two tabs up here, because we have two new foals that are both Thoroughbreds. I'm very excited to see what they look like. Our first baby is... Oh my gosh, look at them. They're so cute. I love them. Let's check out their stats really quick. Not bad at all. So I'm going to grab that. You have 589 genetic potential and our racing. We're going to do bam. 589. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, 89. And then I'm going to mark it with racing. And I'm just going to put a question mark as their name because right now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I will see a little bit once they grow up more. I'm also going to go ahead and start their basic training. And we're going to get them going with that. All right. Next, we have our second baby, which is also really cute. Did they not get the Overo marking? They might not have gotten the Overo marking. But they are male, which kind of sucks because that means we still can't use them for anything really. Their stats, again, aren't bad. 572 so we're gonna do that 572 and then i'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's probably racing but no endurance okay so endurance uh okay i can't <laughs> i can't type this let me endurance i think that's how you spell it if not it's okay and i'm gonna put probably guys yeah, probably gonna be a cell so i'm gonna do that um, i'm gonna go get him start with basic basic training as well though because i want to I've been slacking off on training for a few days. I can't lie, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them going. I am gonna go back to my notifications page here, though, because I have some other foals and stuff I want to show you. Sinful had their baby, which I'll show you that. So here is Sinful's baby. They look nothing like her, but they're still very adorable. Um, and they turned out really nice, so we are gonna be training them. While I'm right here, I can actually get them going. I Like I said, I have been slacking off really bad. And we also got this adorable little baby as well, who I, look, okay, I started their training at least. So I'm going to get them going with something else. They're also pretty good, so we're going to be training them as well. Um, I also am going to go here to the broodmares really quick, and I'm going to show you guys some of the other babies we have that you guys have missed. As you see, most of them right now do not have babies. Most of them have already weaned their babies. There's only a few that still have babies right now. Let's go to foals really quick. We also got this adorable adorable little lady look how cute she is i'm probably gonna end up keeping her if she turns out really gorgeous when she gets older um everything else i think is just like normal foals that just like say train uh we had one that was for sale but it already sold like it sold like couple, like not even an hour after i put it up for sale and i also moved all the kens over here to project ken we do have this little man who is probably gonna go into the foals for now I might not keep him. I am not sure. But right now I have these four who are going to be having, I believe, 10 the first babies. So when, they ha when they're born, I'll update you guys on that. Um, let's see. But we got a bunch of broodmares to get done today. I do want to check, though, on this one foal really quick. Uh, this guy right here. If, his, if he doesn't have Overo. Because if he doesn't, that's not bad. Right, let's see. He does not have Overo. Okay. So that stud I used before, I might use him again since I know I'm gonna I can get non-Overo babies from him. And they also look very cute. Or I might try a different one. I'm not sure. So we're gonna start out today. I'm gonna say probably on first things first, I need to go to find a stud for the thoroughbred. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Alright, I'm gonna quickly check the stud uh the genetics of this lovely man and he will probably be the one we use here okay he doesn't have frame that's the most important thing so we're gonna use this guy he's a little bit expensive but that's okay so we're gonna be using that we're gonna do all three of the mirrors so we're gonna do birdie first oh i'm over stable capacity all right let me handle that really quick all right so this is going to be interesting because we're going to have to possibly put some of the foals in the full pasture, which means I broke this menu. That's not supposed to look like that. 
Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna get these guys. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably keep the highest genetic potential foals out, as well as um the ones I'm kind of iffy about. I might gonna put I might put in there as well. Um, I'm gonna keep the thoroughbreds out because I need to train them. I'm gonna keep the thorough I'm gonna keep you out. Uh Avatar and potential broodmare could probably go in there. So we're gonna have to put some of these guys in the full pasture. I already put a few of them in here. So Avatar is gonna go in there. And then I'm gonna put this lady in here as well. And we're gonna put Willow Tree in here as well. Uh let's see. And I'm gonna have to find a way to mark some of these horses. Uh let me go ahead and try to breed these guys really quick. Okay. The birdie was successfully covered. But Gucci, let's get Gucci. Okay, Gucci's covered. And Miriam also successfully covered. All right, so they are all ready to go. Now we got to do some more sorting here. All right, so I know I'm going to keep this lovely little lady out. Ooh, okay. Now we got to do some sorting here. So I know the very few that are over 700 are going to stay out. I think it's literally like just this one that's over 700. Um, you might be going because you're like 621. Is there any other really low ones? Okay, let's knock out the ones that are under 650 now. Okay, there's literally only one under 650. Okay, um, okay, we're gonna get rid of some of the males. Who is the highest GP male that I have? 678, 661, 692, you're the highest right now. This guy we're gonna keep. All of the other males are gonna go into the pasture and let's see how much let's see how much space that frees up really quick i'm gonna i'm just gonna add like i don't know i guess a little tilde after it as just a way to define them from the others okay lucifer i don't need to do that with all right let's go over to the full pastures now all right so i won't be able to train these guys which is kind of kind of sucks but you know uh, it's whatever i need more space to continue breeding so i kind of I'm just gonna train the best ones and then go from there. Luckily, there's quite a few full pastures, so I'm pretty okay. It does cost money though, but I'm pretty rich in this game, at least for like compared to when I first started. All right, I think that's everybody in the pastures that I want to be in the pasture. Yeah, that freed up ten spaces, so that's good. We need to be a little. I need to be a little bit more picky with the falls, I think, because when I'm not picky with them, it it seems to overflow my ranch very quickly. All right, so these guys are the ones we have out right now. You just one male and a bunch of females. They're all decent. I'm sorry if I randomly like. There's random cuts and stuff. It's probably because I'm coughing. I'm still trying to wake up, so I'm very congested today. All right, Blatant, I still haven't decided on a name for them. I got a few name suggestions last video, but not many people suggested names. Go on, let's get you with Jack. And we're going to try to get some more Shetland foals because we only have two of the Shetland mares. So it's not the end of the world if I breed these guys. All right, I'm trying to get decent, um, like, confirmation ones. But it's like, because I, I couldn't find like any when I was buying them. There was like none for sale. But I might do some more looking today and see if we can find a really pretty Shetland mare that we can use as well. But that, I might save that for another day because this video is already really, really long. Let's go ahead and quickly speed run through breeding all of these mares. So let me grab Taurus, our lovely man who produces absolutely amazing foals. We're going to breed with the stallion. All right, let's do this. All right, and last but not least, we have Sinful. So these might fail. I'm not sure. It's going to kind of depend. But if they do, I will keep you guys updated. And when the bulls are born, I'll also let you guys know. It'll be a while, though. I believe it's like about two weeks. Right around two weeks is when they're going to be born. So they'll probably be born around the 19th. But... That's pretty much it for now. I'm going to do some hunting probably off video for some better Shetland horses. Uh, so also, uh, I might be getting rid of some of the broodmares. So if you guys want to purchase some of these beautiful ladies that I have over here, uh, definitely keep an eye out on my shop because I probably will be cutting down on horses a little bit. So like some of the ones with really low potential and stuff like that might be going. But yeah, um, I hope you all have a great day or night. I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.